In the early morning hours of July 23rd, 1930, three men walked into a crowded hotel lobby and gunned down one of Detroit's most powerful and popular radio voices. So when I've had students work on this as a project, I said, you know, I, there are a number of ways to approach it. Tell me the story of Jerry Buckley before he became well known. How did he get into radio? The fitting exclamation point to a landmark week in the city, one that saw record gangland violence and the recall election of the city's mayor, only in office for six months. The brazen execution and the failure to indict the well-known suspects made front page news across the country for months. When you have this uh, public assassination of one of the most famous people in the city, I think everyone realized that, you know, things had really gotten out of hand. But today, 85 years later, hardly anyone remembers the LaSalle Hotel, much less one of Detroit's crimes of the century.